Hello class, welcome. Today we're going to continue to stay focused on surface area, but we're going to even focus it more in on triangular prisms, okay? We did learn about rectangular prisms, but now we wanna focus on triangular prisms. So surface area, all right. Okay, so if we were using our star chart, we'd still go down to surface area, and since triangular prism is a prism as well, we'd stop here on prism, and we're gonna use the same two formulas that we use for rectangular prism, okay? So here I'm gonna, all right. So we have our lateral area And we're reminded again from last time that it means, also stands for LA, but it's lateral faces, no bases, okay? Very similar to last time, right? Lateral faces, no bases. So here I'm gonna quickly draw Okay, see this is a triangular prism. Do you see the triangle right here, right? Okay, with that said, I want to let you know that the triangle will always be the base, okay? So with lateral area, it'll be all the things other than the triangle. So the sides and the bottom, and then of course this side over here, which is kind of hard to see, but not the but not the two triangles. The two triangles are our basis, okay? The formula for solving lateral area is the same as it was for um, the lateral area of a rectangular prism, right? It's big P, H, all right? Big P, it is our perimeter. of base, all right? That is my hint. And then also, I'm gonna tell you, what. how do we find perimeter? We add, okay? H is height, okay? It is the distance between bases. Okay, that's my hint right there, all right? So big P, big, big P times H, and this is how we will s solve for lateral area, okay? So total surface area, total surface area is going to be our faces and our bases. Okay, so faces and bases, all right? So let's see. Let's draw this triangular prism. Okay, so if we're talking about the total surface area, the triangles are our bases, right? So we can color those in. And then what was the lateral over here, we would color those in as well because those are included, the, it's everything, everything. Okay, and the formula that we use for this is big P, H. Okay, so we've got that over here, we've already done half of it, right? So big P, H, and then we're just adding our bases, right? So two, big B. Big B, what do we remember Big B to stand for? Area of base. Okay, that's what Big B stands for. And what is our base? It's a triangle. So the formula that we use for that, for Big B, is gonna be one half BH, okay? 
That is what formula we'll use to find one area of a triangle, okay? Then we need to multiply it by two so that we can have both triangles. All right, guys, this is just a little preview of what we'll be doing in class. We'll go into more detail later, all right? Thank you for watching.